हेलो फ्रेंड गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज योर होस्ट फान बाबा गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस एंड लॉन्ग लाइफ आई ट्राई टू माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट इराकी दिन आर सो प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर माय वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड एंड फैमिली विच विल हेल्प मी फॉर सपोर्टिंग एंड नो लेट स्टार्ट द टूडे इन्फॉर्मेशन द फाइनेंशियल वर्ल्ड बजिंग Iraq is now making headlines with its own investment fund the AFC Iraq Fund managed by Asia Frontier Capital Limited has emerged as the top performing long only and leveraged actively managed generalist equity fund in the world in 2023 boasting a net performance of over 110%. This remarkable feat can be attributed to the fund's investment strategy that focuses on long term Drivers of the transformation of the Iraqi economy. Iraq's investments in streams of income outside of the oil industry goes a long way in helping the country to gain economic stability and to increase the value of their currency. If you increase your money supply that is going to cause the value of your currency to go down. Think supply and demand. The more you have of something the less valuable it is. What does that mean? You have to get rid of the three zeros. By getting rid of the three zeros, you need less bills to make purchases. What comes first, the small denims, forex, or even the re? I've said it a hundred times. The next thing that we seek is the lower denims and the new exchange rate. Once we have that, let's float. I would like clarify the term. Delete the zeros. Some gurus think it means drop the zeros off of the notes. Other gurus think it means drop the three zeros off the exchange rate. The first one is a lateral move, no gain in purchasing power, and is only accepted by the world community in cases of runaway inflation. The second one is a real change in the value of the A currency, greatly benefiting the currency holders. This is only accepted by the world community when there is A. Consensus that the currency is undervalued. Draw your own conclusions. Instead of Romansky Bide, nominates new ambassador to Iraq. This one is important as the ambassador heading over there also oversaw Turkmenistan's revaluation not long ago. He is renowned for helping financial reforms in countries. I don't know if they are getting ready to let Iraq go its own way or not. But it appears to be a key move at a key time with a key person. The Credit Bank of Iraq achieves a profit of 17.5 billion dinars during the year 2023. For the year 2023, its assets rose to 507.7 billion dinars, while it was 406.7 billion dinars in the year 2022, a growth rate of 24.8%. The bank's profits grew by 63.5 percent during the year 2023 compared to the year 2022, which reached 10.7 billion dinars. Many people sending me things, things about 2026. I don't think they're going to wait till 2026. I don't think whoever explained you this, he read it wrong. If it start to float, it's going to go quick. We just need to float it. If they did like they said and took off the dollar from the market, from the streets, things going to go quick. Stay healthy and God bless you.